How hyped have you guys been for Fallout 4 that's coming out? Unfortunately, I never played more than half of Fallout 2, but Bethesda created an app game that I am totally loving. It's called Fallout Shelter. I'm sure you've heard of it, and I'm sure you've been playing it like crazy like I have. <gasps> A baby! The trailer for Fallout Shelter was released at E3 this past June, along with its beefy older brother game Fallout 4. For a while I was pretty jealous because I was seeing people talk about this game but it was only available on the iOS. But it has recently hopped into the Android market and you better believe I've been playing it like crazy. I've survived every single Deathclaw attack without one person dying. Dwellers initially come to the vault door from the outside and you need to let them in so you can put them to work and earn you caps. The whole system requires a balancing of workers and jobs because power, food, and water are the most important things you need to keep the shelter up and running. Speaking of jobs, your dwellers do better and are happier in jobs that are based upon their special. Special isn't an ability, it's actually an acronym for strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. As you build new rooms, it will indicate on the bottom with a letter of the special that it requires. If you put a dweller with a coordinating special into the right room, it will benefit the dweller and the productivity in the room. Essential rooms, like I mentioned before, will be the power plants, the water treatment plants, and the dining areas. Those need to stay up and running or else or else everyone will get radiation poisoning or their health will start to go down and then everybody gets really unhappy and it sucks. If you run out of power, then only a few rooms will actually stay on and mostly it's the important rooms and the rooms closest to the power stations. So that's not good. If you run out of food, like I said, the health of all your dwellers will go down. And if you happen to get raided on one of those low health points, you run the risk of a lot of people dying. The one plus side to that is that if people do die, you can revive them with caps. After you make sure that you have those needs met, you can upgrade your builds based on the amount of dwellers that you have in your shelter. There are essential builds such as the med bay, science lab, and rooms to up your dweller specials like the classrooms and the lounges. And to get more dwellers in your vault, you can make some babies. It tells you in game that if you place a male and a female in the living quarters, they're gonna make a baby. Oh yeah. Gear and weapons also play a huge part in the game. Weapons are used to shoot raiders, mole rats, rad roaches, and death claws, which all pose a threat to your shelter and your people. And each piece of gear has a different boost towards different special points. Gear and weapons can be found out in the wasteland, so if living in your vault isn't enough for some of your dwellers, you can let them explore the outside world where they can gain caps, XP, and lots of different loot. Be sure you're sending out your strongest and most fit to live dwellers so that they can fight off all the bad things and bring back the best stuff. Hopefully this was enough information to get you excited about a fun new little app and give you something to play when you just don't feel like talking to anybody on the bus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about Fallout Shelter, the app game. If you have any more app game suggestions, you can leave them down below for me. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Your dwellers will appreciate it. And if you'd like to see more of me, you can find me on my channel, Brits Games. All my links are in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next week. Goodbye. Did the bears go away? Did they leave? Oh, are you bad? You're coming for me? No. Oh, that was smart. Ow! What? You can stay in there. Jerk. We have a town bear. How exciting. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.